friends, I'm Akash, and welcome to the Geography Made Easy series on my YouTube channel. Angola is the fifth country in this series, and before we go into details, I want to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for new videos. Alright, so today we're talking about Angola. So, let's begin. The official name of the country is the Republic of Angola, and the people who live in the country are called Angolans. Angola is located on the west coast of southern Africa. It's the seventh largest country in Africa, bordered by the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the north, Zambia to the west, Namibia to the south, and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. Angola also has an exclave province, the province of Cabinda, that borders both the Republic of the Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's about eight times the size of Georgia, or slightly less than twice the size of Texas. The capital of the country is Luanda, which is also the largest city. Luanda's original name was Sao Paulo da Assunção de Luanda, meaning St. Paul of the Assumption of Luanda in Portuguese. Over time, it was shortened to just Luanda, and that's how the name of the capital city of, An of Angola came about. Other major cities include Cabinda, Huambo, and Lubango. Angola is divided into 18 provinces called provincias and 162 municipalities. The municipalities are further divided into 559 constituencies or townships. As you can hear right now, the national anthem of Angola is playing in the background. So let's talk about the flag. The national flag of Angola is adopted since its independence on November 11, 1975 from the Portuguese Empire. The flag is split into two equal horizontal bands of red in the top and black in the bottom, with a centered yellow emblem consisting of a five-pointed star within half a cogwheel crossed by a machete, in the style of a hammer and sickle, because Angola used to be communist. Red represents liberty, and black represents the African continent. And these half and these half cogwheel machete symbol with a star means workers, peasants, and socialism. The population is 31.1 million as per the 2020 estimate. And the religion is mostly just Christianity. Roman Catholic 66.4, Protestant around 13%, and other Christian denominations make up 24%. Also, there are small sects of people practicing other religions in Angola. By the way, there's a quiz at the end of this video. This quiz will ask you five questions about what you have learned in this video about Angola. So pay attention and you're going to get all the answers right. The currency of Angola is the Kwanzaa, or AOA, which is its code. One USD is roughly equal to about 578 Angola and Kwanzaa as of the time we are filming this video. As Angola is a former Portuguese colony, the official language is Portuguese, although Chokwe, Kikongo, Kimbundu, and Umbundu are the national languages. The government is a unitary presidential constitutional republic. Both the head of state and the government is the president, and the parliament of Angola is known as the National Assembly or Assembleia Nacional in Portuguese. Angola is a member of the United Nations, OPEC, the African Union, the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, and the Southern African Development Community. Angola's economy is one of the fastest growing in the world, which is overwhelmingly driven by its oil sector, which is why it's part of OPEC. Oil production and its supporting activities contribute to around half of the country's GDP, more than 70% of, of the government revenue, and more than 90% of the country's exports. Diamonds contribute an additional 5% to exports. 
and subsistence agriculture provides the main livelihood for most of the people, but half of the country's food is still imported from other countries. However, dependence on foreign assistance, corruption, fluctuating oil prices, and recovery from a decades-long civil war are still challenging the economic growth. Its 2019 nominal GDP estimate is about $124.6 billion, and the per capita income is roughly $4,101. Angola exports majorly to China, India, and the U.S., and it imports from Portugal, China, the U.S., South Africa, Brazil, and the U.K. The narrow coastal plain rises abruptly to vast interior plateaus. Angola has four principal natural regions when it comes to terrain. One, the arid coastal plains, stretching from Namibia all the way over to the capital, Luanda. Two, green hills and mountains rising inland from the coast into a great escarpment. Three, a large plateau called Planalto, extending eastward and southeast from the escarpment. And four, rainforests in the north and in Cabinda. Elevations generally range from 910 to 1,830 meters. Like the rest of tropical Africa, Angola experiences distinct alternating rainy and dry seasons. It is mostly just semi-arid in the south and through the capital, Luanda. Summers are hot and humid, while winters are rather mild and dry. Northern parts of the country have a more cool, drier season from May to October, and a more hot and rainy season from November to April. The heaviest rainfall occurs in April and is accompanied by violent storms. And the far north, including Cabinda, have the highest annual rainfall. The highest point of Angola is Moro de Moco at 2,620 meters, while the lowest point is the Atlantic Ocean. The country's internet top level domain, or TLD code is dot AO, and they drive on the right side of the road. The international telephone country code is plus 244. Angola has only one time zone, and it is GMT plus one hour. Coming to sports, the most popular sport in Angola is, surprise, basketball. Its national team has won the Afro Basket 11 times and holds the record of most titles. Soccer is also popular in Angola and it even qualified for the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany, which is their first appearance in the World Cup Finals. The Angola region has been inhabited since the Paleolithic era, hosting a wide variety of ethnic groups, tribes, and kingdoms. Around the 16th century, this area became a Portuguese colony, and it did not have its present borders until the early 20th century. The name Angola was derived by the Portuguese from the title Angola, held by kings of the Ndongo. Ndongo was a kingdom in what is now northern Angola. Angola attained its independence in 1975, and then it faced the Angolan Civil War right after between the two major parties in the country, the MPLA and UNITA, until 2002. Since the end of the decades-long civil war, the country has become relatively stable with one of the fastest growing economies in the world. But despite its vast mineral and petroleum reserves, Angola's economic growth is highly uneven, with most of the nation's wealth concentrated in a disproportionately small sector of the population. The standard of living remains low for most of the population. The life expectancy in the country is one of the lowest in the world, and the infant mortality is one of the highest. Angola is a multi-ethnic country, and its culture reflects centuries of Portuguese rule by the predominance of the Portuguese language and the Catholic Church. Most people live in the western half of the country, near the coastline. Urban areas account for the highest concentrations of people, particularly in the capital of Luanda. Now, 
it's quiz time. I'm going to ask you five questions about what you have just learned. And your first question is, how many countries share a border with Angola? Your second question is, what is the most popular sport in Angola? Your third question is, what is the official language of Angola? Your fourth question is, what is the currency of Angola? And finally, your fifth question is, what was the original name of Luanda? For your convenience, the answers are located in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.